do a real quick video on a story from last night. Um, so I'm driving uh, with Uber. I get a request that comes in from a young lady. I pull up to the house. There's a guy outside and goes inside to go get her. A couple minutes later, she comes out and he sends her to the car without him. So she gets in the car. Clearly she's drunk. Clearly uh, she might be under the influence of some drugs and she's having a bad night. Whatever happened, she's pissed off. She's cussing, she's acting a fool. Um, but she's doing so in a way that was kind of harmless. Like it didn't really bother me. I was able to just focus on the road and I did interact with her. Like she had a bunch of questions. A lot of times people who are on drugs or especially alcohol, like they're kind of funny drunks or goofy drunks or silly drunks and they'll ask all kind of questions. And, uh, so she's asking me for drugs and she's asking me, um, you know, if I have any liquor in the vehicle, she's asking me like dumb stuff, right? And she's saying F you and this and that. Every time I tell her something, uh, you know, the GPS says something, she's telling the GPS shut up B and you know, all kind of stuff. So anyway, we're driving and I ain't got no drugs for her. That's not gonna help her. I ain't got no alcohol for her. That's not gonna help her. I'm just trying to be professional get her to where she needs to go because obviously she needs to be in her bed for a good eight to 12 hours and um apparently she had just gotten a fight with somebody and she was fighting a man and apparently the man was fighting her back and so uh we're about 75 percent to our destination and she asked me how do you cope how do you deal I'm like oh that's an interesting question she said how do you deal I'm like what do you mean how do you deal with life because she could tell I'm not paying any attention to the BS I'm just trying to get her where she's going and I told her I pray so her response obviously surprised is what you're all religious and all that you're super religious I said no that's not what I said I said I pray she said what do you mean I said you asked me how I deal I said I pray so she goes quiet for a minute or two and then she's like well you look a lot older than me you look like you've been through some things what, what do you deal with and I just said life whatever I'm dealing with I pray we get to the destination eventually she gets out of the vehicle goes her way but I was thinking about it I wanted to share a, a principle that I live by with y'all let God do the heavy lifting no matter what you have or don't have in life, no matter where you've been or haven't been or how intelligent you are or how wise you may think you are or how popular or if people like you or they don't like you or you're embraced or not embraced, no matter what your title, your position or your educational background is, there are things in life that you can handle, that you should handle, that it's your responsibility to handle. And you have control over you and your response to what happens in life, right? But whether you're willing to admit it to yourself or to other people or not, you know deep down there's things that you can't handle. There's things that are too big, they're too heavy, they're too much. Right now you don't have the capacity, you don't have the money, you don't have the influence, you don't have the strength, uh, you don't have the patience or the grace or the the resources to deal to cope I just want to encourage you acknowledge those things are there because they're there I don't care who you are and stop and pray at some point today stop and pray and at some point tomorrow stop and pray and if you're a person that doesn't pray I want to encourage you Stop and pray. Let God do the heavy lifting.